And that's where you keep your focus on. Oh, this is happening. These are the demonstrations. You need to come and support it or they're destroying the forests. They're killing all the animals. They're killing all the whales and all the dolphins. You're not interested. They're destroying the atmosphere. You're not interested. They're destroying all the farms. You're not passionate. You don't care about any of these things. You don't give a shit about what is happening in the world. You're only interested in one thing. You don't care about anything else. And that one thing is to keep your attention on the stillness. You keep your attention inwards and you're still. So the world is a pendulum. It's up and down and up and down. And you don't pay any attention to what is going on in it because you have zero interest in the world. Zero. Not even a little bit. Zero interest in the world. Can you do that? Do you think you can bring yourself to do that? Ask yourself that question. Are you up for this task? You want to get to the oneness. You want to get to fifth dimension. To this higher level of consciousness. Then you got to let go of this one. Because this one that you're so passionate about. Is that the very thing that is holding you down. You got to let it go. Because one day you're going to have to let go of this one too. You're going to have to let go. Well, you don't let go of this. This one is going to give you the finger. Your best friend that you were living with for 50 years, 60 years, 80 years, 90 years. One day your body is going to give you the finger. It's going to say, fuck you. It gets cancer, it gets tumor, the eyes don't work, the brain doesn't work, hands are start shaking, everything starts to malfunction, and you've been together all of your life. And it's going to tell you, hasta la vista, baby, I am tired, I'm, I'm going. So you have to let go of this one too. So why don't you let go of the world? Don't be involved in it and just bring your attention in inner silence. Be still. Stay still. Stillness means you don't react. Your partner comes into the room and tells you, you're messy, you don't clean house, you're an asshole, you don't take care of our dogs and cats and throws up on you and throws a lot of stuff at you, you don't respond. You look at it, you don't answer, or you say, okay, thank you. You go to work, your boss comes and tells you, you're late, you don't take care of your work, you're always like this, you're always like that. You don't defend yourself, you don't say anything. You say, you stay still. You do not respond to anything. You don't react to anything. To your friends, family, kids, cats, dogs, life situation, and to the world. You become like a statue inside. You want to get free? You have to do this. Because you have to connect to what is still. What is not conditional. The world is conditional. When things go your way, you're happy. And when things don't go your way, you're miserable. So you're a yo-yo. Yo-yo is not going to awaken. Yo-yo is not going to go to the next level. The next level, you have to go beyond these things.
So we're going to get into all these things in details. And I give you, I help you with it, with the tools and what is it you need to do? What is the way to do it? I'll share it with you. So you don't have to go through 30 years of suffering like I did to get to this. You don't have to do that because the help is here. And if you like to do it, go ahead and do it. No one's going to hold you back. Believe me. Nobody on this planet cares if you're going to suffer or not. It's up to you. What is it you want to do? When you're ready to stop playing games and wasting your time with all these elementary spiritual teachings, crystals and tarot cards and beads and other planets and other lives and blah, 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 and manifesting this and clearing your past lives. When you're done with A, B, C, D and you're ready to go, come on over and I'm happy to show you the way. But you got to be done with all those A, B, C, D. Finish the elementary, high, the kid stuff and come for the advanced teachings. And I'm happy to show you the way. Because I want to see you become free. But you got to finish up those things. If you're still caught into those stuff, human design and what is my astrology and what does this mean and what does that mean? If you're whenever you're ready and done with those things, then we're ready to do the work. And if you're super, super serious and you can afford it and you really want to do it, then we do the life training program together. And that's four months of working one-on-one -on -one together and come to me and, and I, I will work with you because I have time to do it right now. But in the meantime, whether you can afford it, whether you can't afford it, it doesn't matter. All information that you need, I'm providing to you and I'm sharing it with you. They're all in my videos. They're all in the teachings. And the teachings is here. The only way to go beyond suffering is to go beyond the thinking mind that you are a person capable of creating your own life. That is the cause of your misery. You have to go beyond that. Where there is no thoughts and there is no person. And that's where the heart opens up and you begin to feel the love every day. The juice that comes up. The love. The presence. God begins to reveal itself to you when you're not thinking, when you're in the silence. And then you feel the force field. Then you see the mystery. You see how magical things work with each other. You see how things flowing in your life. That does not mean you're going to get the technique to manipulate things to get what you want. I know what you're thinking. No, 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 no. I'm not going to give you and teach you techniques so you can manipulate things to get what you want because that's not what it's about. This is to go beyond wanting, to come to this place that you don't want anything. Then life pours it to you, gives you everything you need. Because you're not a person who's needy. You are needless. You are free. <laughs>